Hello everyone and welcome back to APWC. So, I recently watched the show Mr. and Mrs. Smith and decided to make an opinion-based video keeping the OG Mr. and Mrs. Smith in mind. This is a detailed review with the following points: predecessor, storyline, casting, verdict, and trivia. These points are curated in a way that will surely help you to decide whether you should watch the show or just skip it. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Ready. Predecessor. I know this is the worst point to begin with, but the faster we get over it, the quicker we can shift our focus on the show. So, the year was 2005 when the Mr and Mrs Smith movie had released. This is the first film that introduced me to Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. I still remember as a kid barely 7 years old who had not watched Fight Club or Troy seeing Brad Pitt for the first time with Angelina Jolie and somewhere it just blew my mind away. It almost felt like I was watching a different rendition of True Lies in some sense, but this duo was amazing. I mean if you look at them you do realize how charming they are and can easily be perceived as spies. I had to revisit and rewatch the OG Mr and Mrs Smith in order to reminisce Brangelina. Uh, I mean in order to make this video. And Angie's smirk is still a highlight of this movie. I do miss the old Angie and in today's day and age there is no one like her. I'm not Angelina Jolie. I'm a boy. <laughs> Rahul, mujhe lift chahiye. Also, not to forget, it was directed by Doug Liman, who has directed The Bone Identity, Edge of Tomorrow, American Made, and the remake of Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal, which will be releasing on 21st March on Prime Video. Now, let's jump to the storyline. The movie shows a couple staying together for close to five or six years, but are oblivious that they both are working as agents for rival organizations. What happens when they come to know about each other's secret becomes the theme for the rest of the film. However, the show starts on a different note. Here we see an organization that hires two people and based on certain compatibility checks assigns them a partner with whom they will be carrying out tasks based on their level of risk. So, we have two individuals who have no connection with each other but now live together as John and Jane Smith, which obviously is not their real name. The show follows the couple's journey right from day one. It deals with marital problems, questionable competency, love, jealousy, etc., which to some extent was missing in the movie. But the question is, was I interested in that? Not at all. Did I miss that in the movie? I don't think so. Was there a need to make a show on that? Uh, maybe no, but that is subjective. The show starts with an amazing first episode and the last episode is a chef's kiss but in between it's all over the place in the remaining 6 episodes. Let me put it in clear words. It isn't bad but does it offer something more than the movie? Well again that's subjective. You can fast forward a lot of the stuff and you will still know what is happening. The jokes don't land at all at times but when it hits it doesn't last long. she said <laughs> this is a serious rendition but becomes monotonous and one toned from the second episode itself also the predictability factor makes it a little hard to stay focused but the movie also suffered from that so i won't consider it to be a flaw let's talk about the cliffhanger ending this may be a spoiler so if you haven't watched the show you can jump to the next time stamp in 3 2 1 So apart from the main John and Jane there are multiples of John and Janes and one such couple is assigned to terminate our John and Jane for three failures. The duo also kills the other John and escape to a safe room. But in this process our John gets mortally wounded. Now Jane has one bullet left and the other Jane who's waiting outside has a fairly loaded gun and a better chance at survival. Now comes the cliffhanger. Jane opens the door and outside the building we see three shots being fired 
Now, there are two possibilities. One, all of them have died and there was a cleanup. Or, our John and Jane have somehow survived and there was a cleanup. So if there is a season two, we will come to know how that is possible. Next point is about casting. The show is surprisingly stacked. It begins with Isa Gonzalez and Alexander Skarsgård in a cameo as other Jane and John Smith. And even before you know what is happening, they are dead. Apart from Donald Glover and Maya Erskine, as the main John and Jane Smith, we have Wagner Moro, the guy from Narcos, and Parker Posey as the other John and Jane who have chosen a super high risk level. Then we also have Ursula Corbero as Rooney and she is hardly there for 5 minutes. Paul Dano as the neighbor who is an agent, but a real estate agent. Michaela Coel has a substantial role in the 7th episode. But Donald Glover is not only playing John Smith. He is also an executive producer who has written the first and last episode and directed the last episode as well. From all the 8 episodes, in my opinion, the first and last episodes are the best and now we know why. I must say, I never thought Donald Glover could play a spy, but he does that with ease. Verdict So, I can give the show 3 out of 5 stars. It's an easy breezy watch and nothing too dramatic or mind blowing. But somewhere the show has a drop and then stays there stagnated. The writing is good and some may even consider it to be smart and subtle, but it does feel stretched at times. Now, let's move on to the new segment. Trivia So, in 1996, there was a show called Mr. and Mrs. Smith, which had 13 episodes. And out of those 13 episodes, 4 were unaired. This show was the inspiration behind Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the movie that was released in 2005. Post the success of the film, a pilot episode was created with Martin Henderson and Jordana Brewster as John and Jane Smith in 2007. This pilot episode was supposedly to greenlight a spin-off television series which takes place 6 months after the end of the film. It was written by Simon Kainberg and directed by Doug Lyman. But the TV series never came to light. ABC decided not to commission the series. Now, the year is 2021. Amazon Studios announced that a television series reboot based on the original film starring Donald Glover and Phoebe Waller-Bridge was in works. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who is the creator of Fleabag, which is an amazing show, had worked for six months on Mr. and Mrs. Smith but left due to creative differences. And that's when Maya Erkskind stepped in. That's it for this video guys. Comment on your thoughts on Mr. and Mrs. Smith and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, bye.